Welcome back. This is video number four and the final installment in the Learn How to Knit with Grandmother's Favorite Dishcloth. And um, in the last video, we had discussed the fact that the instructions are going to tell you to continue knitting row three until you only have four stitches left on the needle. Um, at the moment, I still have five stitches here, so I'm going to um, follow the pattern again. I'm doing row three. I'm knitting the first stitch. I'm knitting two together. So these two include the uh, yarn over from the previous row and a stitch. And those are going to be our knit two together stitches. I'm going to yarn over and knit two together again. So they're going to be the last two stitches on the row. And then we only have four stitches remaining. This is the point that we were trying to get to before we have to bind off. So what is binding off? Binding off, um, as we've stated before, these each of these stitches is a live stitch. If it were to fall off your needle, you could unravel your project all the way to the beginning. So, binding off is the way to neatly and securely get your um, stitches off of the needle and complete the project. So, how do we do that? Well, you're going to see some familiar techniques in here. The very first thing we have to do is to knit the first two stitches. So we're going to knit those just like normal. Insert your needle, whoops, wrap, pull through, slide the stitch off. Okay. Once you have two stitches on the right hand needle, what you have to do is insert your left needle into the first, the rightmost stitch on the right needle. So hopefully you can see this in the video. I, my camera really is having a hard time. There we go. And I'm going to pull that stitch over the other stitch. See that? Let me, let me do it again because I think my um, my video went, my work went out of the frame of the video. Okay, so I'm going to stick my left thing, my left knitting needle into this first, the right, rightmost stitch, and I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to pull it over the leftmost stitch on the right needle, and then I'm going to let go of it. So I turned those two stitches into one stitch. Then I'm going to knit the next stitch. And again, I'm going to stick this left needle into the rightmost stitch on the right needle and pull that stitch over the other stitch and let go. We'll do that again. Knit. And we're going to pull the rightmost stitch over the leftmost stitch. And now we only have one stitch there. But it is secure. I need to get some scissors. And I'm just going to snip that stitch. Okay. And that is secure. Uh, looks a little bit, you know, loosey-goosey there, but that's okay. Once we um, start doing our cleanup work, we're just going to sort of weave this stitch in with a tapestry needle. Weave it down through here and that'll neaten it up a little bit. In fact, I'll get... Okay. I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I fold the yarn over 
the tip and squeeze it together. And then that just makes it a little simpler for me to um, get that yarn through the eye of the needle. So I'm just going to um, sort of weave that in. There's really no science to this, <laughs> at least none that I'm aware of. Um, I just do my best to try to get it all to lay flat and look nice. And once I've anchored it down a few times, I just tie a little knot. Now, there are some knitting purists out there that say that you should never, ever, ever, ever tie a knot in your work. But I am not one of those people. I think that if you are going to spend all that time knitting your project and <clears throat> you don't have your yarn secure and it all unravels, you would be so sad. <laughs> so I always like to make sure that it's nice and tight. I don't have a problem with knots and if they're in an in inconspicuous place, like say you're doing a sweater or something like that, you wouldn't want a knot right in front you know, over the uh, breast area or something like that, um, that would stand out too much. But if you hit it sort of in the underarm area or something like that, then um, nobody's ever going to see it and it will keep your work secure. Um, so, um, I'm just cleaning up these ends, getting them weaved in. And I'm going to tie a knot. I apologize if my camera's having trouble focusing. I'm not exactly sure what to do about that. Maybe the answer is get another camera. Okay, so. I'm going to snip that, and there you have it, a completed dishcloth. And, you know, it's got a little bit of stretch to it. Um, it, since it's made out of cotton, it can definitely go through the washer and dryer, no problem. And I hope that now that you're done with yours, that you've feel um, liberated, you have actually finished a complete knitting project. Don't worry if it isn't perfect. Um, most beginner projects are not. Um, you know, you just do the best you can and you keep on plugging on and with more and more practice, you just get better and better at it. You, you can't help but get better as you do more and more projects. So, you've finished one washcloth. <clears throat> I don't know, you, you might want to do a couple more just to get a little bit more practice. Um, if you're ready for project number two, a completely different project, um, where we learn some more techniques, let me know and I'd be happy to um, get started on planning another project for us. Okay, well, everybody have a wonderful day and God bless.